Hey guys, Zach Bartle from Bullion RV today in Duluth, Minnesota, coming at you with another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at the 24 Imagine 24 BSE. It's a little chilly outside today, as us Minnesotans would say. Uh, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the wind, but uh, here we are. So right off the bat here, coming up to the front, you're gonna see uh, nice big logo on the front there and the big aluminum cover on the front, uh, all painted. Double 20 pound propane tanks here in the front. Nice automatic tongue jack there. Uh, I believe it's got a spot for two batteries here, which we do uh, install and wire up in box upon purchase. So get to the side here, get a nice pan. Front storage here, not a ton of it, but it's still getting there what you need to. Two separate battery disconnects, outside shower, because you can hear the jets flying over me right now. We do have a GFI here. There's your solar, outside shower, which this will go down below, so you don't have to keep your magnetic latch open while doing that. Got two slides on this, one in the living room, one in the bedroom. There's your furnace, hot water heater there. All your drains down here, along with your hose, uh, sorry, your uh, uh, drain holder right there. You do have four stabilizing jacks on here. Two in the front, two in the back. Uh, they are manual, which comes with its perks and its cons. Uh, a nice perk of it I like to think of as uh, if you hook up a drill to that, it's gonna go down a lot faster than any power jack you use. Jump to the back here. Nice ladder to access the roof. Prepped for a backup cam. There's your uh, amp service right here. It has a 30 amp, only one AC in it. Come around to the main campfire side here. You have two doors, which is gonna be a nice little addition here. One going to the living room there, and one here to access the bathroom. So if you're on the road uh, and you need quick access to it, it's not gonna be any issues. Some more connections down below. You have your tank flush valve here and your spray port right there. Good uh, Goodyear endurance tires. As you can see, there's a little bit, there's a red uh, drum behind those. That's gonna be Lippitt's uh, new anti-lock braking system. Along with uh, another spot there to access the ho uh, sewer hose holder. I didn't get the on and out guys. I'll do that here in a couple minutes. As you can see, there's a nice LED light there just underneath. It's got a pretty big awning here. You can also tell just by the holder there, or the stabilizer there in the middle. Give it a little extra support. All right, let's get inside. It's getting kind of cold out here. As soon as we step in, one thing you're gonna notice right off the bat, Imagine started doing, or sorry, not Imagine, but uh, Grand Design started doing these new LED light strips along the top here. Nice cool little feature. Along with your uh, hockey puck lights still under, under nooks and crannies. But right at the back, you're gonna see tons of overhead storage. Along with a nice U-shaped dinette, which also will go down into a bed, as you can see the table's down right now. As we pan over a little bit more, nice big Thomas Payne, almost three-seater couch with massaging and heating and lighting. Cup holders, well, the couch is massaging and heating. The cup holders are not massaging and heating. <laughs> Gotta make that uh, clear. Uh, this does come down though, if you're looking to not use that third seat. Put a, put a couple more cup holders there. Adjust furnace here, a couple uh, phone charger plugins there. Nice big Furion refrigerator with freezer spot up top and refrigerator down below. 
The kitchen area here, we're gonna have nice little oven, three burner stove here. Uh, this is just basically letting, uh, you, letting you guys know uh, before it leaves Grand Design, they do a double check over this entire unit before it leaves the factory, making sure that it's you know the most perfect unit before it leaves the lot up there and gets onto ours. We have fan and light access right above the stove here. Nice little microwave. A little bit of storage above that as well. I don't want to forget that part. Here's your control power, or sorry, control panel right here, along with a little bit of storage. Nice big 32 inch TV right across from your seating. And plenty of storage down below. These are all gonna be the same length and depth. Easy access to any plumbing you might need to get to. These four drawers are all gonna be the same length and depth as well. With some nice big pots and pan storage here right underneath the sto uh, stove. A little bit more storage there right next to the refrigerator. Along with down here and your fuse box down below. Let's take a look in the bedroom. As we step in, bedroom has a nice slide in it. A nice little closet space there with a couple cubbies. Overhead storage here. A little more storage over here. It looks to be a, say a full size or RV queen size bed in here. Mirror right across. Pan over the bathroom. A little bit longer of a bathroom. Nice room for space. Nice tall shower. Plenty of leg room for that toilet there. The door for this bathroom is going to be a nice sliding door. Nice little AC. All right, we're gonna get that awning put out real quick here. And guys, here's that awning that I said I'd pull out for you guys. Uh, I didn't pull it out all the way just because it's a little bit windy and I'm not gonna try to give this thing any reason to rip on me. Uh, I'm not trying to damage any units on our lot. Uh, but as you can see, it's the length at least of both doors here. I'd say it probably comes out pretty close to the unit next to here, but again, I'm not pulling it all the way out just because uh, the wind is ripping and I'm not trying to damage this unit. Uh, but again, guys, this is the 24 BSE Grand Design, brand new 24, uh, nice new floor plan on it. Uh, if you guys want some more information on this unit or you just want to uh, come take a look, uh, get a hold of me at 218-740-4997. Thanks, guys.